Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have b squared minus 1 equal to 1 minus b. Now what will be the first step we take? Can we possibly cancel the 1? No, because they are not having the same sign. So bring everything to the left. And if we do that, we'll have b squared minus 1 okay then this comes here to become minus 1 as well and then this comes here to become plus b everything is equal to 0 now now what do we do i think we can rearrange this better so that we have b squared minus 1 then i have plus b then minus 1 equal to 0 this way it will be easier for us to factorize right because when you look at this as a matter of fact we can group it into to b squared minus one and then plus on the other side we have b minus one everything is equal to zero okay now this b squared here minus one is the same thing as b squared minus one squared then plus on the other side we have b minus 1 right everything equals 0 and then apply your difference of two squares here in case you've forgotten if you have a squared minus b squared this is the same thing as a plus b into a minus b this is difference of two squares now i will apply the same thing here as i have b plus 1 into b minus 1 then plus here i have b minus 1 and everything is equal to 0 now what do i do next this is what i will do factor out b minus 1 because it is here and also there okay so b minus 1 will come out and i shall have b minus 1 here then um you know closes brackets here I'm going to have b plus 1 right this is b plus 1 oh I have to pick 1 from there okay because b minus 1 divided by b minus 1 will have um will have 1 over there so we'll have this plus 1 everything is equal to 0 I think it's better now now let me go over it again we have b plus 1 into b minus 1 over here and we have b minus 1 over here bring out b minus 1 from here and here it came out now what will be left here is b plus 1 which is this and then here since b minus 1 has come out 1 will be here which is this everything is now equal to 0 okay so this means that b minus 1 into b plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 b minus 1 okay and then b plus 2 equals 0 what do i do apply zero product rule that says it is either b minus 1 is equal to 0 or b plus 2 is equal to 0 from this side b will be equal to 0 plus 1 or b will be equal to 0 minus 2 our b here is equal to 1 or our b on this side is minus 2. Now bring the two solutions together. b is equal to 1 or minus 2. Now let's put these two values of b into the original equation and see if we are going to be right or wrong okay so this is the real um the original solution and then we're having that b is equal to one or minus two right so let's put it in if b is one then we shall have one squared minus one will this be equal to one minus one okay because b is one one squared is one minus one and it's the same thing as 1 minus 1. 
Okay, so meaning that 0 is equal to 0 and b to be equal to 1 satisfies the equation. Now, the original equation still remains b squared minus 1 equal to 1 minus b. Now, let's put in the value of the second um, solution, which is minus 2 for b. So, in place of b squared, now I'm going to have minus 2. You must put this in bracket, okay? Minus 2 squared minus 1. Will this be equal to 1 minus minus 2? Let's deal with it. Okay, so minus 2 squared will give us 4 minus 1. Will this be equal to, what do we have on this side? It's going to be 1, this plus this. Okay, minus, minus will give positive, so we have 2. Now, 4 minus 1 is actually 3, and that is equal to 1 plus 2, which is also 3. Okay, so what does this mean? It means that, um, you know, b to be equal to minus 2 also satisfies the equation okay so this is a confirmation that b1 which is equal to 1 is correct and then b2 which is equal to minus 2 is also very correct thank you for watching